the Angel Mary's Height. Richard Kirkland was born on August 1843 in Kershaw County, South Carolina. Despite him being very young, at the age of only 17, Kirkland joined the Confederate Army in 1861 during the Civil War. His first battle was the First Battle of Bull Run. But on December 13, 1862, at the Battle of Fredericksburg, Kirkland's unit formed a stonewall at the base of Mary's Heights near Fredericksburg, Virginia. During the battle, Confederate soldiers inflicted heavy losses on the Union soldiers. It was discovered that 8,000 Union soldiers were shot in front of Mary's Heights. Many of the soldiers were still alive on the battlefield and they couldn't walk. They were all horribly injured and they were all without water. Both sides, Union and Confederate, had to listen to the painful cries and screams for help of the wounded for six hours, but no one dared to go out to help them out of the fear of being shot. But then Kirkland decided it was time for a change. Kirkland left the safety of the wall with canteens, blankets, and clothing and went out to the field, helping Union and Confederate soldiers. He went back and forth getting supplies for the enemies and his comrades. He would not stop till every injured man was helped. This is where he got the nickname, the Angel of Mary's Heights. He would later go on to fight in battles like the Battle of Chancellorsville and the Battle of Gettysburg. But on September 20th, 1863, he and two other men took command of a charge near Snowgrass Hill during the Battle of Chickamauga. Realizing they had gone too far past their own unit, they attempted to return back, but Kirkland was shot. His final words were, quote, I'm done for. Save yourselves, and please tell my pa I died right. Thank you.